Hey y'all, have you ever had one of those inspirations? Let's say a uh, gardening inspiration. Let's say a uh, butterfly gardening inspiration and it just hits you out of nowhere and then you're like, why didn't I think of that before? Why? Why didn't I think of that before? Uh, here's a monarch butterfly. <laughs> I was on, on my way to show you where the inspiration occurred, but we had to stop and see this beauty. I mean, on swamp milkweed, Asclepius incarnata, there's a little caterpillar right there. How cute. Okay, it all started right here. And remember in my video where we were gonna clear this all out, but I didn't get to it? But I had all of my potted wild limes right there. And y'all, potted is the key word. And I said I was going to move them out, but I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them. And even funnier, I said, maybe I'll plant another privet senna in there. And then when I pulled out my wild limes, there's not one, but two privet sennas already growing here. They must have come up from seed. So that was perfect. So I pulled all of my wild limes and they were just sitting around here. There's still a little one right here. This is the wild lime. This is the host plant too. One of my favorite caterpillars to raise, which is the giant swallowtail. Oh, look y'all at this gorgeous. Sorry, we get distracted by butterflies here. Look at this gorgeous golf fritillary. It looks like he or she just eclosed. How beautiful. Anyway, I was looking and looking and looking at them all. And then, with the help of my assistant, I thought, oh my gosh, you know, I could stick them up in the treehouse. Because when I sit in my chair right here, I can look up there and see them and if a giant swallowtail were to come and want to lay eggs, I could see that happen and know it happened because meanwhile in my chairs, the wild lime is all behind me and it will get them out of the way so we won't be disturbing little Miss Ma'am who is in her nest, my little cardinal female, and um, going back and forth, you know, checking the wild lime because up there. Let me show you. And look, you can get a good shot of her. I think this is the best view I've been able to get of her in her little nest right there. <laughs> it's still the most adorable thing. Hello, sweetness. Okay, so here we are up in my tree house. And you can see it definitely needs some uh, leaf blowing. So I'm going to get out my leaf blower, clean it all up. And right in front of me right here are my potted wild limes. And I used to refer to this place as the potting tree house, potting tree house. Well, now we're going to change it to the potted tree house. Isn't that fabulous? I'm going to put all my potted trees up here. Can you imagine just walking through and they'll be all around and I can easily, easily check them for caterpillars? Why? How many times have I been up here? How many times have I been up here? And I've said, I need to do something with this. What should I do with this? And it was all a matter of changing a few letters on the end of the word pot from potting tree house to potted tree house. I, I, I can't even. I'm so excited about the thoughts of this. So I'm going to show you my wild limes, which are right here. Look how pretty they are right there. And then there's some other random stuff that is up here, including my, <laughs> remember that? It's still here. There's no tadpoles in it anymore, but it does, you can tell we haven't had rain, so I need to put some water in it just for the plant. Um, anyway, sidetrack. I'm going to go grab my leaf blower and clean this all out. Um, move these little random things around. I'm probably still going to store my weed block up here because it's done well. And then I'm going to gather up all of my potted trees. Now I have potted 
wild black cherry trees. I have potted pawpaw trees. I have a potted sassafras tree. I have a potted red maple tree. What else do I have? I might have more. I have to go look around. They're all over the garden. They're all going to come up here. And you know what's even more fabulous is some sections of this deck tree house get more sunlight than others, which is perfect because the pawpaws like more shade, but the wild black cherries and the wild limes like sunshine. So let's do it. I'm going to go grab my leaf blower and um, we'll be back. And there's the uh, red trash can back there. So uh, tap the like button. And if you enjoyed my videos, then subscribe to my channel. And I'll be right back after I use my leaf flower. And we'll get this place coming together. I'm so excited. Okay, y'all. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm retired now. Oh, gosh. Tired is part of retired. I never thought about that. All right, so there is a small collection of my potted trees, but I have more that they're like hidden all over the garden and someplace I have to go in and like really pull them out. And um, so we're going to pause on that project. I'm going to show you what I have here, although I probably don't know what it is and you'll see why in a minute. And then I have a few other things I want to show you. Okay, so these are all host plants of some sort. And unfortunately, I do not recognize them when they're in their deciduous state. This one is pushing out blooms though, so that's exciting. I do know this tall one is a pawpaw. And this little one right here is this small flower pawpaw. This is a pawpaw. I'm not sure which one. This is pushing out blooms. This one and this one are the same because they have the same markings on their trunk. So here's the options. They're either wild black cherry trees or they are spice bush. Well, they're not really trees, they're bushes, but they're tree-like. But can you imagine when they're all up in that tree house and they are all full of leaves, how cool that's going to be to just walk among them and hopefully find caterpillars. That's going to be the best. And the thought of carrying all those pots up those steps and putting them in the tree house, that's just going to be another day. I do have one more potted tree I want to show you. It still hasn't moved down here yet. Let's go see it. Look at this beauty. This is my potted sassafras tree, and I love this. It's in a bigger pot, and that's going to be something. Oh, look, red trash can right, right there. Look at it. <laughs> it's going to be something to carry up there. I need to get all this weed out. And let me tell you, every time I'm down here in the base of all these trees, I am looking for moth cocoons because they look like dead leaves which is why you're supposed to leave all your leaves alone and um but so far so far i haven't found one but maybe one time as i'm moving all these pots around i'll find one and i have these two potted trees here um which we looked at recently this is the red bay and the sweet bay but they're gonna stay here because they're in pretty pots and i like them here so they're not they're not moving up to the tree house and not long ago i moved that um water holder bird bath back there and put a lot of my potted trees back here, which some of them I moved out. But look how many more there still are. There's my red maple. And there's, I don't know, spice bush or a wild black cherry. You know what? I bet if I go look at the trunk of my other wild black cherries, that will be helpful. There's another one there. There's a little one here. It's nice because thanks to all the work I did... In my last video, 
I can easily get back here. Oh yeah, look at this trunk. So this is the wild black cherry tree. I'll have to like compare. Or I can just wait till till they bloom. Look at this. This is my little potted Asclepias incarnata that I grew from seed. And there she is laying eggs on it. And it's already got caterpillars on it, as you can see. <laughs> she's laying more. There she's on the other one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now she's on the twine vine. She must not have found my big patch of swamp milkweed in my whole swamp milkweed garden. She's over here <laughs> in my work area. Oh, look, there she goes. I've got some more swamp milkweed over there and a balloon milkweed. <laughs> oh, yay. Oh, well. How sweet is that? All right, we're going to let her go do her thing. But while we're here, I'll let you see the cute little babies that are on these. Look at all the frass. Look at all the baby frass. Oh yeah, look, there's a queen. I think I'm just gonna take these little pots in. I think I'm just gonna take them in because what is my rule of four or five? There's probably four or five. And I haven't taken any babies in. I still have my big guys in there. I'll have to put these somewhere where the big guys can't get them because they'll wanna eat those leaves. I might have to get out one of my small enclosures and set it up. I was just in there thinking I might need to get a whole nother lepidarium because of all the golf fritillaries. Oh, that reminds me. Let me show you. This is my Pineland um, passion flower. Look at how big that one is. And there's another one. Um, he was up here. You can see <laughs> where he was. But it is just like golf fritillary season right now for the caterpillars. Let me show you over here. Like just looking up here in this one little section of May Pop, you can see right here there's a shadow of one. When, oh, there's another one. It's just, they're everywhere. There's another one here. And look, and these guys are big. It's like they're everywhere. So that's pretty incredible. And like, oh my gosh, here's another one right here. And I've been taking these big guys in because they're going to pupate soon. So when I'm done filming, I'll probably pop all these guys into the lepidarium. Oh, here's another one here. Well, that one's a little bit smaller. So it's a good thing I've got a bunch of refills <laughs> ready to go. Look at all the refills I have to just plop in the lepidarium. See, I just put a fresh one in right there because they're just eating everything. There's a couple of cute, chunky monarch caterpillars. I had to add a basement because my little sulfur guy, well, actually this isn't my little sulfur guy. This is another one that I found. This is my original one. And then there's a little one I found. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to find him because he's super little, but there's a little one. So now I have three sulfurs in here. My little zebra longwing caterpillars are growing like champs. You can see them. There's a gulf fritillary on here. I put them over on this other side of the lepidarium. So the gulf fritillaries, you know, the big ones would just leave them alone. But now he's over here 
but I will move him back to the other side. We'll just go ahead and do that now. Yeah, you stay over there. There you go. All right, now let's get a better peek at these little zebra long wings. Look how cute they are. And they're the only ones. Like, I haven't seen a zebra long wing butterfly in days. I haven't found any eggs. I haven't seen any caterpillars. So I am so glad I found these babies. We'll just get them started with these guys. So as you can see behind me, we're about to get some rain, I'm pretty sure, which is a fabulous thing, but it's going to bring an end to my gardening. But that's good because I need to go in and upload this video. There is one more thing I'm going to show you. I was looking in my zinnia garden and there was this pop of purple. I was like, purple? What is that? There is a cosmos coming up in there. That's gorgeous. Let's go see it. So here we are, beautiful zinnias. Then when you get right over here and you look down, do you see the purple? Look at this gorgeous little piece of beauty just hidden down here. Is that not spectacular? I absolutely love it. I hope that these little things right here are going to be the same because that's spectacular. And on that note, I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I am loving retirement and I'm loving having more time to chat with you all and make videos. And hopefully as time goes by, that potted tree house is gonna come together. I actually think since I'm gonna be forced to going in the house soon, maybe I'll go on Joyful Butterfly and order a couple more um, trees to pot up to put in my new future potted tree house. I do have a link below, an affiliate link for Joyful Butterfly if you're ordering any plants now for your butterfly garden. I would love it if you use my link and I'll see you in the next video.